continue on A312 for one mile. Very sadly, 
defecation because that's what happens when people are shot and killed. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. said he said effectively that he can be triggered. And it, it brought tears to my eyes as he said it. He can be triggered um, by somebody passing wind because it brings back um, guts and um, defecation and it just triggers him and it, it goes into a cold sweat or it, it, it brings back, it's the PTSD if you like. Um, yeah. That's an ordinary thing. I mean, you know, people pass wind the whole time. Um, but it just illustrates how real that traumatic experience, because I can't imagine what it's like to stand in a trench uh, with dead bodies around you, uh, with the kind of smell. He talked about intestines and, and um, um, well, you know, defecation. I mean, I, 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 yeah. I can't imagine what that's like. Never had no, to experience I, mean, I, I, I have to declare, my, uh, I, I was a, um, you know, I was non-combatant, um, but I was, I, I was in one of the, um, well, it is the, uh, no, I can't really explain it because it's official secrets, but okay. um, there, there, there was, there were things that went on that just made me question why the hell am I here? Um, and I, I suffered a huge amount of humiliation from um, some very senior officers that made me um, get to the point where I, quite, you know, quite frankly, uh, I was going to draw my pistol um, because, uh, you know, it, and that's, you know, like I said, I'm sort of making it very, very short and uh, missing out some significant bits. But you know, like I said, that's the kind of thing that, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not going to go and draw a pistol on anybody now. That 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 is really, you know, I don't want it to be taken out of context. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a threat to anybody. But there are things that make me just think about that time in my life when, uh, like I said, it's the whole teamwork thing when you feel that you've been let down, um, when you feel that you're doing something, when you feel that you're not being recognised for it, those kind of things. So like I said, I, I really don't want that to define me and I don't want anybody knocking on the door saying, you know, we think you're a, a danger to yourself and other people. Um, but I think, it, I think it's the fact that, you know, um, I can only imagine what the, 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 um, the teeth arms, you know, the, the frontline troops, what they go through, like, like you said about, you know, the smells and the sights and the stuff that I mean, I saw and experienced stuff that you know I, I didn't want to ever experience ever again. Um, but mine was more uh, more from the non-combatant side. Um, but like I said, having left in 1997 um, with a medical condition that has never been acknowledged as anything to do with the Gulf War, so there's never in 200 yards at Cranford Parkway interchange. Take the second exit onto the M4 slip road to Heathrow Airport M25. Thing. I, I just quite honestly, I find that the you know, we're very proud of our services. I think that word is cheap because the deeds and the actions of the government and what the government do for our troops, for the homeless ones, there shouldn't be homeless troops. There shouldn't be um, somebody with a mental health condition that can't find help. Um, you know, j just giving people a, um, a, 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 an identity card or something that they can carry with them. I think you lose your identity when you hand that. Um, uh, MOD, uh, MOD Form 90 back over, but having a card that basically, this is who I am, this is who to call, there's nothing like that, there's nothing, you know, it's a simple card to carry in your wallet to identify and say, look, I need to go and speak with somebody, who do I speak to? And for somebody to recognise you for, for, for what you've done and to understand what you've done um, and, and to not take things out of context of what you've done. Do, do you see where I'm coming from? Andrew, thank you so much for calling in, very grateful. Um, in this hour, I'm asking you, are we failing our veterans? Exit the roundabout onto the slip road. In a quarter of a mile, merge onto M4. You're listening to David Ammy here on LBC. The time now is 6.46. Coming up at 7 on LBC, Natasha Devon. Johnson said the Tories' defeat in the by-elections this week will not mark a personal psychological transformation. What do you think is the subtext of that statement? Natasha Devon on LBC. At Tesco, we want you to spend less with us. Less on the big shops, the small shops, and even the in-between shops. Less on eating out and days out. Less on your phone and your finance and even your fuel. That's why we're doing what we can to help you spend less with us. Search Spend Less at Tesco to find out more. Tesco, 
because right now, every little helps. Comparison of spend based on Tesco prices only. Club card are up required. Exclusions apply. Meet the upgrade your business deserves. A square point of sale that works as hard as you do. Easy to set up and easy to use means no training required and zero hidden fees or surprises. So you have all the tools you need in one reliable solution. From the fully integrated Square Register to the powerful iPad POS Square Stand and the portable card machine Square Terminal, find the upgrade that has everything your business needs. Square Up Europe Limited is authorized by the Financial Conduct Authority. The world is at an imbalance. Technology has turned people into products. It has served us, but it has also harmed us. We believe it doesn't have to be this way. We've created a platform where we have people feel loved, valued and empowered, and where you are paid every time you watch an ad. This is We Are Rain, the people's platform. T's and C's apply, reading for PayPal fees charged. We Are Rain, reclaim your power and get money in your pocket. Download the app today. At Talk Talk, we're helping the nation to save money on their broadband. If you're out of contract on your Superbus fiber, you can save £338 on average by switching to Talk Talk. Just $24.45 a month for 24 months and no setup fees. So switch now and save big. Search Talk Talk. Talk Talk for everyone. CPI plus 3.7% annual increase from April 2023. Average saving on fiber 65 versus competitors publicly available out of contract non promotional pricing on 9th May 22 and 30th July subject to availability. Leading Britain's conversation, LBC, with David Lammy. Text messages has come in here. Veterans are always alone. No civilian will understand the inner struggles of any veteran that has seen the tragedies of the world. <laughs> We need more funding for the Royal British Legion, the only charity that knows and understands. It's a big step to talk and talk to a civilian um, about what's happened. Lewis in Bristol. Lewis. Hi, David. It's my first time calling along, so I'm listening. Um, so I'd just like to make the point that I wasn't actually aware that it was Veterans Day today, which is quite alarming because it's quite an important thing. It's obviously affected a lot of people. I have a massive admiration for people in the armed forces. And I read about what Book Day, Yorkshire Pudding Day, and all these other days. <laughs> and some in a quarter of a mile, keep right to stay on M4. And I think that's shocking. So there's a failing from the offset as far as I'm concerned because, you know, we're, we're, we're not highlighting it from, 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 us, from now. You know, I think that I'd the like to think, lives. I would really like to think there are obviously military... Keep right to stay on M4. ...across Britain. I'd love to think, I'd like to think that it's a day that matters in those towns. Well, if anyone's well, in those towns, by the way, let me know. Well, I do actually live near Royal Wormbasset. No. Um, and as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that happens for Veterans Day. Um, so I'm quite, you know, perplexed as to why not, why this isn't highlighted. I think we are failing these people. Yeah, I was leaving out in 95 with a spinal 
surprising that they didn't have that, given that that is an issue. In a quarter of a mile, keep right to stay on M4. Keep right to stay on M4. Continue on M4 for four miles. I, if there's improvements, if there's a new type of leg that gets brought out, 
I can get it, whereas obviously a civilian person wouldn't. And another point, you say you've been an American and experienced how they well, appreciate their soldiers, and I fully agree. In a quarter of a mile, at Junction 6, take the A355 exit to Slough Central. As soon as anybody realized we were veterans, people were queuing up to pay for our meals, our drinks, and shaking our hands, and just general... Exit at Junction 6. Right, but hero worship. No, they, they really do get behind their troops, and not to say we don't, but... In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the third exit onto Tons Lane, A355. That's why I wanted to do this hour, by the way. I wanted yeah. just to raise this, because I think it's... Um, I was shocked at the difference in America between the America and here, I've got to say, shocked. Yeah. Uh, it is, and it's just... I think it boils down to such a simple thing. Well, see, when their government was first formed after the American Revolution, their leaders were soldiers they were military leaders and i think that sort of naturally enshrined in them to look after their veterans obviously there's a lot of our members of parliament some have served you know i know tom so canals obviously on the other side of you uh, i'm sure there's a few on the Jay labor Jarvis benches has served in our, on our side yeah. um, exit and, the roundabout onto tons lane um, and yes there was a generation after the second world war of course of politicians yes. in both sides who had served um, um, in the armed That's forces. It. But I'd like to think it doesn't take serving to understand the sacrifice that is being no. made. No, but I think it helps people understand it. And go in a quarter of a mile, turn left towards Sippenham Lane. He did 16 years as a, t and then as a tank commander. When he left, they gave him his paperwork and he said, you'd be a milk loaf driver. And at one point, he was served in Berlin opposite the Russians. But now they said he could only drive milk floats. Josh. Today, there's a lot more help for people. Josh, well, it sounds like things have improved um, a bit. Thank you so much for your service in Afghanistan. Um, a testimony to you. Thank you for calling in and um, having lost two legs, but with that positive story of the prosthetics that you've been able to get as a result. Of Turn left towards Sippenham Lane. Thank you for all your calls, your texts, your tweets. Remember, I'm here every Saturday from four. Coming up at nine tonight, it's Nick Abbott. But up next, it's Natasha Devon. Thanks, David. I'm with you until ten tonight, so we have three hours to get into some really interesting... Continue for one and a half miles. I want to discuss the repeal of Roe v. Wade over in the States, and we'll be asking if you were an American woman in one of the estimated 26 states who will ban abortion, what would you be doing right now? Plus, in response to a really interesting piece in The Guardian today about the importance of teaching children to be anti-racist, I want to talk about when and how we should discuss misogyny, homophobia and racism with young people. But first, Johnson still won't budge despite the message resoundingly sent to him by voters in the Wakefield and Tiverton by-elections this week. In an interview from a summit in Rwanda, Johnson said, if you're saying you want me to undergo some sort of psychological transformation, that is not going to happen. I want to know what you think he means by that. What's the subtext? Who's he talking to? And how worried should we be? of two by-election defeats for his party and insists he remains focused on his job. The Conservatives lost Tiverton to the Lib Dems and Wakefield to Labour on Thursday. The Conservative MP Andrew Bridgen wants to change the rules of a no-confidence vote. Quite honestly, the longer he is in office, the more damage he's got to do to the country and the Conservative Party. And for me, that's... And I think for a lot of the population, that's, that's unacceptable. Hospital cleaners and hostesses who are striking amid a pay dispute turned up to support rail workers during a rally in central London. Several hundred people gathered outside King's Cross and Pancras station earlier 
for the Rail, Maritime and Transport Union rally. It comes as its members walked out for the third time this week over a row over pay, jobs and conditions, with little sign of a breakthrough in discussions between the union and rail operators. Kevin Groves is from Network Rail. He says the strikes aren't helping the railway industry's precarious financial situation. Railway finances are in tatters, you're right, because of uh, the drop in, in passenger numbers and, and this week's cost about £150 million pounds in, in real terms. You know, it's cost millions of passengers even more in inconvenience and uh, missed appointments, uh, etc. And, and that's what we're keen to, to avoid moving forward. Pro-choice protesters are taking to the streets in cities across America.